Studio Epic. been a while since I've recorded. As you guys know, if you follow me on Twitter, I recently bought a new house, or bought a house. So uh, this is the garage area. I'm gonna be transforming this into a woodworking shop and hopefully be able to get a lot better quality videos and have more projects that I can do during the week and get things done like that. So we're gonna kinda look at my shop and what I wanna do today is I, have, I got a little craftsman miter saw stand for Christmas. My dad got that for me. So I haven't got a chance to put it together, but now that I got a little sh sh area to put it in, I'm going to get that put together. And I'm going to let you guys check that out. And hopefully we'll be able to get to building a project real soon. So as you can see, I have a lot of stuff just kind of hanging out of here in the garage. And my washer and dryer is down there on the corner. And just a lot of stuff for me moving I haven't gotten taken care of yet. I know what you guys are thinking. That doesn't look that bad. Well, Guess again, this is, uh, you can see over here, we've got a lot of junk over there. And hopefully I'll get all this stuff taken care of soon. And there's the uh, miter saw stand we'll put together here shortly. But I'm hoping in the next few weeks about to get all this taken care of and get a nice clean shop and a good place to work at. Okay, as we continue unboxing this, I'm gonna go ahead and set this table up here, or set the stand up. I think it finished. I had some technical issues the first day I started recording, so I'm finishing today and it's kind of gloomy outside. It looks like it's going to rain maybe. Wind's blowing. Neighbors are mowing their yard. And I'm in here with you guys recording this video of setting up my miter saw stand. This is pretty cool, this has got a quick release, you pull these up, you'll be able to raise up the saw to remove it from the stand if you need to transport it or anything like that. So this bracket typically goes right across here just like this, and then you screw, or I'm sorry, you bolt your saw to this, these two little gaps here. Well, mine's a 12 inch sliding miter saw, so mine's gonna actually go in these end ones and it's gonna spread the, set, the width of the, the maximum width this will go. So we're gonna slide these apart. About right there, and I'm gonna lock this back down. Now I'm gonna take my saw and set up there. And now we're gonna start and try to put this. right through there like so and just to kind of hold it in place I'll go ahead and put my washer and lock washer on there and the nut just tight enough to keep it from moving around too much All right, and we'll slide this
since I have these, I know that these little rollers here, I want that to be positioned pretty much against the fence and out. So I'm going to scoot the saw back. Actually, I'm going to scoot it back as far as it'll go. That way I'll be able to use the most of the roller. It has all these little, I guess I don't know what you call these, toggle bolts or something like that. It's to, just to quick tighten and loosen things. But there's four of these that look like a triangle. And they go right here. Pretty excited to get to use this and get an opportunity to uh, try out the whole stand and have somewhere to set up my saw and be able to forget about it. Hope you guys enjoyed this short video on me setting up my Craftsman miter saw stand. It's been a while since so I was able to post a video. I'm, I'm getting moved into my house and getting everything set up so I'm hoping I'll get on a more regular schedule getting some videos to you guys soon. So if, in case you're not aware, there's not going to be any more videos in the carport. Hopefully. That's the plan anyway. Um, that was at my grandma's house and I appreciate being able to use it and having the spot to be able to record these videos. But going forward, we'll go to record my videos here at my own house and, my, and I'm going to set up my shop. There's going to be a lot of shop projects, a lot of things like that. I hope you guys look, look forward to it. If you would, just take a moment hit that subscribe button and you'll be able to stay in tune with all the videos. And Thanks for checking out a, another My Next Project. And as always, y'all will see me next time.